hi friends what's this application here this application is connected to mysql database and it is collecting all the tables present inside the database so i can just select any table uh, let me select and once i selected the five first five records are displayed here i can change it also say position so now this is another table and uh, whatever table i selected the first five records are displayed here and this script can be changed to connect to sqlite database or i can connect to ms sql database or any other database by just connect changing the connection string we'll learn all about this first let us establish the connection so here is the sql alchemy we are using now after this i'm just pasting a code here within a try and accept block so different different connections you can try so here you can see my connection create engine this is i am connecting right now to mysql database or mysql database suppose i want that it should be connected to sqlite then sorry not here i'll just comment this line and enable these two lines because this gives me the path in your because uh, SQLite is a file based uh, database so it, you have to give the path for it and that path I am second line I am connecting but whatever way I connect I am using my connection as a variable name because subsequently in the string we will be using that so let's just try with this whether your connection is successful or not if it is not what is the error this will be printed to the console so now let me just run this and see okay fine there is no error in my console so this up to this point my connections are okay suppose you are going to connect use some other driver here is suppose sqlite 3 or any other driver or you are connecting to ms sql or you are trying to use through odbc you can put the, all the connections here but check that you you get output of my connection because this variable will be or the connection object will be using it in further our script let's write the query first so that query will be using to get the to get our uh, number of table so we'll say query equal to this is just a variable now i am saying show so tables this query is exclusively for mysql database or uh, let's write it in there for mysql okay this is this query similarly there are I am just pasting a little bit uh, same query here you can see <coughs> uncommented it so because let me just take it to next line so you can read there if you are going for say uh, database other data SQLite then you can use the second query and if you are going for MS SQL then use the third query so any one of this should be used because query is different for the different tables so I am just right now connected to um, uh, mysql so it is there in the mysql now let's just ensure sorry here i have to change to mysql again here i am just commenting these two lines no more for mysql here it is so i have connected to mysql now you can just see here uh, that is my test and my database is connected the entire connection string is available here and now my query is ready now i will execute my query so what i will die let me just move up a bit yeah so my data equal to my connection my connection whatever i got it whatever dri driver i have used or whatever database i use my connection the variable i am creating at line number eight that one i am using execute now whatever query what query would if it is my uh, my sql or sqlite or anything it can be used here now executed so now tables this is a name only I'm giving It's a name of a list this tables I moved up equal to now I will say row 0 then for row in uh, row in my data what is my data just above line we have created now this should be a list so what I am doing is basically I'm just collecting a main whatever main data it contains a uh, all the rows in that and that one by one I am pushing that and creating a list so my table will will hold the it is a list of all the tables within that database so let's I can just check it up print tables I can't show you the console but 
let me just check it whether it is showing or not yeah all the names it is displaying it as a list let me just comment this line now we will use this source as our options for our combo box by now we'll start with our kinter window let's paste the blank template this is our kinter blank template what we are using now first one we are importing kinter and all the import and next this line we are importing TTK because combo box whatever we are using it's a part of a TTK not TK so we have imported this now the geometry the dimension here and our parent window is my underscore W so many places the root is used but we use my underscore W now let's first start with a creating a string variable this string variable will be using to connect to our uh, combo box though initially will not use it subsequently while displaying records will require this one so this is the string variable <coughs> the entire source code is available for you to download so just focus on this part cb1 my combo box 1 equal to ttk is a part of a ttk combo box now my underscore w is my parent window now here values values equal to i am giving it as tables where these tables are you can just see this is what the list of tables here at line number 19 we got it we got it by executing the query so that source of table table is a list of tables available inside the our database whatever it is so that uh, we are connecting it to here so now my combo box all the options are tables now then I am selling text variable equal to my cell or that whatever the string variable we have used that we are using it now let me just place it on a grid so cb1 dot grid row equal to 0 and we are saying column equal to 0 again pad x because slightly we are uh, from the left edge we have given and similarly pad y equal to 20 but from means from the sorry pad y equal to means from the top edge 20 gap we have mentioned now let's check up to this point how it works now it should show us the combo box with options or tables let's just see this you can see all the table lists are populated this is what i actually we have printed at line number 20 you can see here that is what printed on my console and the same one we are using it as the option by giving the this values attribute let me just close this this one this is the key this takes the data from the tables that one and connect it now on select of a option we'll try to display the five records so for that purpose first let's start with the uh, our uh, string variable sel is a string variable which is connected here to this one we are declared it here all the string variables will, will have a trace method so trace method will monitor the changes in that or the variable is created or the updated so here anything is changed is there so we are saying w means any change in this variable use this function or this is the callback function this we are saying my show now this my show is the function which will be calling it and so far we have not uh, used it now let me define this so I will say define my so now all the arguments I will be using I will be calling from all the events and also args so all the variables I have collected here now the first what I will do I will create the query now inside this function means whenever the combo box option is changed or some option is selected that means the cell this string variable will change its value then this function will be triggered that's the purpose we have used a string variable and the trace method we are using now here let me just give query equal to select sorry let me use double quotes so I can continue with that select uh, star from select star from because now from a table because already we have selected the table now how I will know what the user have selected for that purpose we will say s, s get means this is the string variable that get method will will return the value what the string variable contains or it holds so that is nothing but the what the user has selected from the as op selected option of the combo box now that I am telling select star from table name plus now I am continuing with the string 
now i'll say limit because i want let's say five records so starting from the first record the five record but this number you can keep on changing suppose you want only two to display so zero to two you can so now let's that is fine now let me come to next line my data now i let me execute my connection is the connection string at the top we have declared it already it is here my connection based on the database this string will but the name that is why we have maintained that name my underscore connection that's what we are using it here now this <coughs> execute now execute what the query that's all so this query is executed now what you will do now let's collect the data equal to row for row this is a single line i am using a for loop in my data now this is a this tells me collects the all the records and create a list box for me this actually while displaying i had to convert it into a string and display but instead of that let's first display it then we'll see how we can further improve that so for that i'm just giving a gap here t1 what is t1 okay i have not written i think at the top yeah here i have not written t1 so for me in here what i will do after the combo box let me just add a uh, what you will t1 t1 is a it is a where the i will be displaying the record so it's a text wizard so t1 equal to tk dot text now my underscore w fine height height equal to 7 now width equal to let's say 45 then bg equal to or the background color yellow where it will be displayed it will be displayed below the combo box so uh, you can see the row is 0 so here row will be 1 so i am saying t1 dot grid now i'll say row equal to 1 now column equal to 0 let it be just below that then slide pad x 10 and pad y you can keep on changing this dimension based on your requirement so that's all my grid is uh, sorry my uh, t1 is ready so this t1 what i am going to do is first i am writing a delete command delete if any data is there start from one or the first character till end till the last character you everything you delete why because whenever we change one table suppose we are displayed next we have changed the choice now to another table then it should it should delete and then otherwise what happened one after the other it will be added so for that i am deleting and then then comes t1 dot insert now tk till end and now i am adding this data whatever this data or the five rows or whatever i am collecting from the table that i am adding it here so i can say comma data but i will expand it because this is symbol means this is, i will it will list will be expanded and then displayed but you will see there is some more uh, we have to convert it into a string actually till this point let's run this and see then we'll go for the modification or the improvements now fine let's just select the any table you can this is all the it's a big database a lot of tables are there uh, cars positional argument cars okay there is a mistake here let me just close this here select star from now what is here i missed the data it should not be date okay now that's why we are getting a blank data there so we can just let's check it run once and see how this is okay previous window is closed let me close this run once okay so here if i'll select a table now let me come down select this one okay but see the output here so this is coming because of that directly all the tuples outputs are coming so we'll change it to a string and so a better display so i'll close this here from data i will change this data to a uh, to our uh, using the my str is a string my str equal to what i am going to do is create a string using the all the elements so what i will do i will create line break i am giving dot join 
this is just a string and join method I am using so join then map inside map what I am the string function and data so there should be two yeah what it will do is this is our data is from the list each element will pass will convert it by using str str will convert the our each uh, element to string suppose there is some dead id is there or some numeric data is there then the join method will generate error so for that we are converting it to by using map uh, each element is mapped to a string so the string is there then join method and this is a string but actually this is a line break so uh, and uh, you can give a blank or any other string also now this str instead of using data here now we will use my str sorry my str this i will remove it so that's all let's just check this how this looks here it is i am i will go for any other any table let me go for one more customer here it is okay so all the record now if i'll change this the previous thing should delete because otherwise this will be added that is why we have t1 dot delete we have used where is our student here it is so previous data was deleted because of this particular line 36 line number so the data is deleted and the first five copies or five rows of the student table is displayed that's all this was a question actually was asked you can copy the entire source code it is available the link is at the description and based on this question this was prepared so if you have any doubt suggestion questions any ideas put it in the comment section below so accordingly we'll create or modify or improve our script also i'll request you please subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon so you'll be notified as and when we add new tutorials and we frequently do that also please share this video with your friends and thank you for watching